Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, The Flash from the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Here is the first one from this wave that I'm going to be looking at. As you can see on the box, they've added this little um, Justice League logo. I think it's nice when they put little identifiers on the boxes like that because they're kind of, uh, the boxes are just kind of samey. You know, they all just have this black, uh, same profile, same look. So if, you know, you're collecting a wave, I think it's a nice little identifier to have these um, little tags that show you the source material. On the back is just a picture of Ezra Miller. And if you're trying to find this guy, there's a, I got him through Amazon pre-order. Uh, I got, I managed to get some of them on Amazon pre-order and some of them on Target, and they're starting to kind of trickle in in a weird way. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna do them as, as they arrive, and we're gonna start with the Flash. One thing before I dive in, I, I've said this before in the past, but I just want to kind of say right out the gate is I don't think when McFarlane does live action uh, characters, I, I don't think it's their, their wheelhouse. I don't think it's the best kind of stuff that they put out. I think they do much better when they just kind of have a more loose source material and it gives them license to... Um, to put their own spin on things. And then, you know, they end up doing something really fun and really uh, well received like, like, like this, you know, that's, that's just where my tastes lie. But I'm, you know, I'll give this a fair shot. I'm gonna be as fair as I can. You see, Amazon was super rough with this package and this stuff's just falling out. Thank you. They had him in the box in this kind of running pose, but when you take him out, he kind of looks like he's doing a weird interpretive dance. The first impressions that head sculpt is a pretty good likeness of Ezra Miller and maybe missing a little bit of paint um, just to give him a little bit more life. And just look, you know, like a healthy skin tone. But so one thing I got to just say in general is I just do not care for this design. Like the Snyder Flash, I just, there's too much going on. It's just... It doesn't look like he looks like he's um, loaded down with all these layers uh, and plates and overlapping crap. It just doesn't like to me suggest somebody who is who, you know, is unencumbered and can move with swiftness. It just it seems weird. I don't know. I just I don't know what. And there's just nothing like clean or smooth about it. So I'll walk you through this if you're maybe like if you if you're. If you're a Snyder Cut fan and you, you're, you haven't gone down the rabbit hole with this multiverse line, I'll show you kind of what, what to expect. Because some people, they see these and they're like, geez, they make statues and they don't realize what a lot of the uh, articulation is actually hidden um, and is in many ways as articulated and has as much range as a you know, either a legend or maybe you were into the Mattel DC stuff. In general, these these have the same articulation. That's kind of nice, actually, crunch forward. Wow. A lot of these don't quite have the forward movement this guy does. The drawback is that his sort of um, briefs, his crotch piece here is really loose. Like, like look how loose this is. But the payoff of having this guy be with all this articulation, that's nice. I mean, the guy's got range. I, I can't, maybe doesn't do full John Claude Van Damme, but. Yeah, this just this, this design is just uh, it's just not not clean enough. I, I like the idea in theory, and I think correct me if I'm wrong. I think so, sort of the logic behind his costume is that he has these um, plates and materials that are like lightweight and heat resistant, similar to like what you'd see on a like space shuttle. Is that is that am I making that up? Is that from a line? Somebody help me out. I, I like that in theory, just in the overall look, it just, there's just all this business and all these plates and you can't kind of make 
heads or tails of what is, I don't know. I really just don't like this design for a suit. He's got pretty nice running hands, which I like for a Flash character, or for a Flash figure, I should say. Um, I'd rather, I'd rather he have the hands and just the sculpt that will allow him to be in a good running position. Um, and as opposed to, you know, with fists and accessories that uh, allow him to fight. But, man, as much as I complain about the, the look of the suit, like this figure, you already, you can get him into, very quickly, get him into some really amazing running poses. You know what I mean? That's just, I literally just threw that together. And then and he came with these four um, speed force effects sort of uh, clip-on attachments here. Uh, and they are, you can see, you can start to see when you look at them next to each other, they're very similar shapes, but maybe not quite totally identical. Um, they, they've kind of like, it's almost like they've taken bits and pieces and sort of put them in different places on different ones here, or that they've kind of like uh, flipped them or mirrored the them in a way that it's like, hmm, not quite identical, but pretty close. So let's just see how those go on here. And they, they you know, these wrap around their soft pieces. These are these are pretty fun. They're they're in the style of the ones that came with the Injustice Flash. I think I kind of just personally I kind of prefer the um the ones that came on Rebirth Flash, which were more rigid plastic <clears throat> and a more um like exaggerated comic-y sort of shape of speed of effects and i'll show you those in a minute i'll compare them but i just want to get these clipped on uh you know what these these are a little loose uh, they can go on any of his arms or legs but they're just a little you, you kind of mix and match and get the ones that kind of nestle up to his musculature just so um i i wish um and the the Unfortunately, they're all just kind of the same sort of wedge shape as opposed to this Rebirth Flash, which had the different lengths and shapes of Speed Force. But it's a, it's a nice touch, and you can... They, they do help um, get, give them just a little bit of a unique sort of presence um, in a running pose. You know, so he could kind of stand out because it's a nice blue translucent color. Just in general, I think the best f aspect of this figure right here is just the, the range of this torso. It just does a little bit more than most of the other uh, McFarlane torsos, uh, especially that forward bending range. If they can figure out a way to get more, more figures with that kind of bending forward range, um, but not this big soggy bottom diaper. That's gonna be really nice. The sculpt is great. The, the textures are all, you know, rendered really well. It's just, I just think it's an ugly flash design. I'm sorry. If you disagree, that's, I, I totally understand. I, I was able to give him a, a halfway decent running pose and balance him on that. It's just like any other figure, you know, let it kind of tell you the way it wants to move. Let it, let the figure tell you how it wants to balance and then go with it as best you can. Uh, but, but it can be tricky and like, so this, this Rebirth Flash, I've got him kind of in this pose where he's like coming to an abrupt stall, like, like halt, just kind of like skidding there. That was the intention. And then I've got like Red Death here in a similar just running pose. But... The truth of the matter is, to get a really good running pose, you got to have a more dynamic lean than any of these have. You need a different kind of stand, basically. Because see, just like, that's not how somebody's body shape looks when they, it looks okay from the front, this looks okay from here, but it's not quite. The fact of the matter is, if you want a character to really look like they're running, they basically have to be like, almost no contact with the, with the ground at all. 
and in a very deep lean, which means you need kind of a little like a flight stand almost that just kind of supports him. Uh, and then here he is with Diana from the earlier Wonder Woman 84 figures. Fits in there pretty well. Obviously this Wonder Woman has uh, some issues, but I mean, I think those fit together pretty well. If you really, really wanted this guy to sing, you would need to go in, I think, with some extra paint, bring out those little like um, cross hatching sort of uh, lines that wrap around his costume. Just, you know, the, with the shiny gold and the paint applications on this Wonder Woman, um, I think even though it's not the most successful likeness of her, just the paint kind of outshines that, you know, enough that it's kind of noticeable. And I think, I think we've seen everything this guy has to offer. It's not going to be a keeper for me. I just really do not like this, um, this design. And it's not the fault of the figure. Uh, it is just, it is just this Snyder design. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, so I'll be keeping some of the characters probably from this, this wave from this Justice League wave, not this one, unfortunately. I'm gonna find this guy a new home. But if you love love this Ezra Miller Flash design and you want to keep this um, complete Justice League team, uh, this this guy's gonna work great. Like he's he's really fun. You know he, he's gonna go into some poses that the other members of the team aren't gonna do. Um, so he's just gonna have a nice place to fit in and uh, and stand out so there he is guys look for him uh, in stores or online good luck hunting him down i will see you on the next one bye